up guys welcome to your 13th after effects tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a motion sketch now what a motion sketch was or is is actually a path that you draw by hand that you want your object to follow and the benefits of doing this over what we learned before is it gives you a lot more control and uh, lets you be a lot more detailed with your objects animation so to do this I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it rather than talking about it go ahead and go up to window and click motion sketch right here if it's already have a checkbox next to it then you don't click it make sure you have your motion sketch panel open then go ahead and find your panel wherever open and make sure your presets are at 100 1 and wireframe now once you click start capture your mouse is gonna turn into a little crosshair this means that you're ready to animate and start drawing your motion sketch. So go ahead and click start capture, click on your object and start drawing your motion sketch. As you can see, you now have made a bunch of keyframes that you want your object to follow. So go ahead and click spacebar and as you can see, Charlie the Chupacabra is following my motion sketch that I just made. Now, as you can see, this is a lot easier way if you want to have a detailed motion sketch that you can um, make it, and it's a lot easier than making all these keyframes one by one. But the first thing you probably notice is like the massive amount of keyframes on this line. Now, while this gives you a lot of control, it is very uh, hard to animate. If you wanted to animate one of these keyframes, it's going to be a pain in the butt. So to get rid of these keyframes, there are two different ways that you can make a smoother path. So let's go ahead and the first way that I want to show you is actually um, is by opening something called the smoother. So go up to the window, go down to this tool called the smoother, and once you have your path selected, go ahead and raise this tolerance depending on how many keyframes you want the higher the tolerance the less keyframes you're gonna have and the easier your path gonna be able to work with so raise your tolerance and click apply and as you can see all those keyframes turn into just a couple keyframes so that's one way of using the smoother to give you less keyframes and also on your uh, motion sketch another way that you can do that is let me go ahead and make a whole new one. Another way that you can do that is actually by changing the smoothing before you make your sketch at all. Now be careful when you do this because when you do it this way you can't go back and change it. You have to change it the other way. So once you're sure that you want to change the smoothing before you can change it and then you can make a whole new motion path. Now you see in this time it has about only 1% of the keyframes that it did last time. So again, this motion path would be clearly a lot easier to, to uh, move around if we decided to change something. So that is how you make a motion sketch and it gives you a lot more control than if you were just to make keyframes one by one and it's a lot quicker so uh, make sure you learn how to use a motion sketch Make sure you know how to use the smoother to make less keyframes and easier editing. And once you learn all that, you can move on to my next tutorial. So thanks for watching.